Hi, this is Eric Dinkins, physical therapist with Motion Guidance. I wanted to take you through an assessment and treatment tool for knee quality of motion using the Motion Guidance device. So Chris here has the Motion Guidance device applied to his knee on the left side. He's about an inch above the patella. We've turned on the laser and we're going to watch him squat. So we want him to look uh, forward and not down at the laser. So just give me your best squat there, Chris. Maybe do five squats. So while he's doing that, I can look at sagittal plane motion as well as watch the laser to see if I'm getting any frontal plane deviations that I might want to assess as either faulty or maybe contributing to his dysfunction. Good. Okay, so now I want you to stand on the left side and I'm going to re-center the laser. So you just stand there comfortably. I'm going to put the laser right over the center arrow. Now I want you to look out in front again, ahead of you, not down at the laser, and do five single leg squats for me. Good. Once again, looking at quality of motion from the sagittal plane, as well as the frontal plane of motion, looking for consistent patterns of movement, or proprioceptive balance faulty patterns of movement. Good. So once we've established what uh, faulty pattern or uh, pattern Chris has that might be contributing to his symptoms, we can work on correcting that. So now I'll have you look at the laser for me. I'm going to have you do a double leg squat. So stand out a little bit more on your right, get a nice squat position. Perfect. So when we assess you, Chris, early on, the laser wasn't going too far forward on the target and you had a lot of knee going forward and your trunk was very vertical. So I want you to be able to sit back, your shoulders need to come forward with that motion and your leg is going to work on getting parallel with the ground which means that laser is going to go out beyond the end of the, of the flag. So go ahead and work on that kind of squat for me. So see if your shoulders can come forward, laser is going out, pretty good. Try to get that laser all the way out past the flag for me. I like that much better. So no excessive valgus motion there. Hips are coming back at the bottom and he's in a nice what we call a ski jumper squat. Really nice mechanics. So he's already been able to change his early tibial anterior translation in his vertical chest by watching the laser. So let's go back into a single leg squat and try the same thing. Okay, good. Do a few there for me. So now while he's changed his mechanics, he's also developed a little bit of early valgus and some proprioceptive balance challenges there. So I want you to slow down a little bit on these next couple squats. Try to keep that laser in the center line for me, but still try to reach that out past the red dot toward the end of the flag. Better. And come back out. Nice and slow. Try two more there for me, just simulating the same action each time. Good. Back up. Tough to do. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Early fatiguing. Okay. So once we've established good patterns with Chris, and he's able to consistently recreate that, now we know we, we have control through a large range of motion we can start filling in the gaps of possible weakness or proprioceptive loss by working different planes of motion. So this time I want you to do three or so squats by going up the left line, then three up the center, and then three up the right. So we want to eventually, with our higher level uh, knee or lower chain athletes, work into that valgus with control.